Hi everyone and welcome back to Two Minute Teas with TP. I'm Teresa Pan and here I am drinking my jasmine tea on this lovely day. As a parent of two young girls, I want to spend a bit more time talking about education and in particular school fundraising. Now, if you are a student at school, if you're a parent of children in school, you undoubtedly know that there are a plethora of fundraisers throughout the school year. The money that you donate, the time and effort that you spend in volunteering is meant to enrich the experience not only of your child but of other children at that school. Now it's no surprise to anyone that schools in richer neighborhoods are able to fundraise significantly more money and at a faster rate than those in poor neighborhoods. Which means over time, as fundraisers continue to happen due to budget shortfalls in supporting education, richer schools will get more and more services, thus ever widening the gap in the student experience between a school in an affluent neighborhood and a school in a less affluent neighborhood. I propose that we establish a rule where for every school fundraiser, only 50% of that money can go towards that specific school. The other 50% must be donated to a pool that can then be divvied up, divvied up among those schools in less fortunate areas who are not able to fundraise for the services they need. If we want to teach our kids to be caring and compassionate, then we must lead by example. We must teach them that what we bring into our school, yes, it is valuable and enriching, but it's also equally enriching to be able to share that with other students at a school that may be very far away. Please let me know what you think. Until next time, ciao.